you're also saying that that record came from just like something from the dollar bin. Oh yeah, Detroit, man. Right. Yeah, like uh, it's a place called People's Records. I think I bought the Bobby Womack sample for about two dollars. You know what I'm saying? It might have been a dollar record. People's Records, and, and right. you know, shout out to my man Brad Hales. Always held me down. That's my favorite record store right there. So, yeah. you know, I still go there. I recommend them to anybody. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Streets of Detroit. I bought all that from there. <laughs> That's crazy. So I, we all... Oh, I got to say go something. Ahead, For yeah. a producer to recommend his number one record shop, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. trying to keep a secret. Right, no, so I know. I ain't even keep it a secret. <laughs> I'm letting you know. Go shop with Brad Hills because, <laughs> right, you know what? Because he's going to hold me down when I go there. He's going to just slide me a whole bunch of records. Ain't that right, Brad? Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, um, we also got to talk about uh, NY weather, weather Report. The track oh, yeah, Quality, man. New York like, Weather Report. Because that was like, like, Quality is probably my favorite rapper, but like a lot of times, like, the, his beat choices on the Soul album, sometimes he's yeah. always fit his style. But I remember hearing that. I was like, this is like his vibe. So I wanted to know, uh, like, is that made for Quality or did just like, how did it that come was about? A, like, that was a track I already had made. Okay. And actually, a funny story about that is Elite got on that track first. Oh, wow. Okay. And uh, he did a song called uh, Trendsetters. Or whatever, and then you know, I get the phone call, I get the news, like, yo, uh, you got one, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's basically right. it. They, they just call you, like, yeah, you got one. So I'm like, <laughs> okay, what is it? You know, I didn't care what it was, but what is it? Like, you're like, yeah, Talib got on this joint or whatever. What you do, you know, send us the master for this track. Like, they're not asking you, what are you doing with this track? They're just like, send the master for this. So, you know, I call the lead, like, hey, your boy Kwali got on this beat, <laughs> dog. So, um, you know, but but actually, on my detour album. I tried to showcase what Quali did and what Elite did. So I, I actually meshed the songs together or whatever, or mashed okay. them up or however you want to say up. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I mashed them up, you know what I'm saying? And So I put Elite's verse and I put Quali and Jazzy Jeff did the cuts on there. And you know, it's, it's just a it's just a great thing. I, I've, I've been real fortunate on the production for sure. That's so, crazy. You know, it's just, it's just compatible you know with quality style how that how that beat came about right right yeah. but but nick you got to break down all the different projects you got coming up because i know there's like two or three just like yeah lay man. it out for everyone like. oh yeah for sure man so you know as far as solo projects go on uh, the need for speed is coming the need for speed that's like my production cd right there that's gonna be all new songs with myself talib and banks and you know brown and you name them, man. It's, everybody's on there. I'm, I'm going to just break it up. I might do two volumes of that because, you know, I did the double disc last time. I got enough for a double disc, but I ain't going to do that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? This is a different day now. So, you know, we're going to do it like that. I got the Need for Speed. I got like a whole mixtape coming called Born Winter. I'm going to be remixing stuff like the Duck Sauce. You know what I'm saying? Tell me about I'm, that. Yeah, I'm remixing <laughs> the, uh, the Vampire Weekend joint, you know. Uh, you know, I'm just going crazy with it, man. And then I'm, uh, you know, I'm got songs with Wine Atkins and everything like that. I'm gonna include on there, you know, the on deck joint. So, and then that's all leading up to my solo album, which is called This right. Side of the Speaker. And you know, that's that's like my solo work. Now, I'm also producing Blue Raspberry's album. I'm also doing production work with, you know, the G Unit still, of course, and just a lot of production. And I'm coming out with a label, you know, gonna be distributed through Submerge Records. We're gonna drop a 12 inch, like, probably every month you know for a little while or whatever we just trying to make them turn their head and say what are they doing over <laughs> there or how are they getting this money or something you know <laughs> we just want them to raise we just want to raise some questions you know what i'm saying right so you know that's that's pretty much what we trying to do is get their attention shock the world and get it in exactly i want to know like how's it like you grew up basically with elite yeah. majestic legend 925 colony elzai yeah. what is it like seeing them like growing up with them and watching them progress like, oh, how does that inspire you? You know, uh, it's definitely inspirational just to see somebody that close, you know, to you actually have success in anything, let alone something that you uh, have a passion for, you know. But uh, definitely, I'm just proud of all those guys, man. I'm just, you know, I'm just glad that they're doing their thing. They're going to continuously do their thing. I already know that, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just really... Like, those are, like, my favorite artists, you know what I'm saying? Like, all of those guys, like, mostly people I know happen to be some of my favorite artists. <laughs> so, you right. know, I, I definitely have a real great appreciation for the things that they put out there. And I can relate, you know? I can relate to the things that they're saying. Because I probably lived it with them. <laughs> right, right. So, you also, we were talking about earlier about doing, like, basically executive producing the Hot Soup album for Danny Brown. Oh, yeah. Uh, so what was that process like like basically crafting the whole album with him well you know um as far as like danny brown 
you know, I, I, we go back like years before Hot Soup or whatever. Like when he was a part of Reservoir Dogs, okay. you know, they had a hot song on the radio called Yes, which at the, which was around the same time that Rock Bottom had this song called No. So it was like an answer record <laughs> or whatever. And, uh, you know, I remember my man M- MC Search was really feeling the song. And I was up at WJLB with Slum Village and Fat Cat. And he kept talking about this song and playing this song. Like he was trying to put Slum up on it or whatever. And, you know. Like they was feeling it, but they, you know they was there like on a whole another mission. So, but you know I was just peeping it like, wow, okay, he's really feeling this group, or he's really feeling this song. So I need to do a beat for them. So, you know, next thing you know, we hopped in Search's car in his Benz or whatever, and wow. he popped the CD in. So I'm like, okay, he's really feeling this right here. So I really got to get at these guys. I'm walking down Seven Mile one day. They had a little poster up on the wall. It had a phone number on it. So I snatched the phone number off the uh, poster, call them up. Yo, I want to come through, play some beats. I end up going to Danny Brown's crib right over there in the Cavs corridor. He making beats on the PlayStation 2 or whatever. <laughs> he over there listening to Dizzy Rascal in the streets. And, you know, it's completely different from run his pockets and dump them in the river. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I was like, okay, this is very interesting Definitely right here. Different. How is this possible? And then, right. you know, he was like, we basically decided then that we would do a whole album that sounded like Motown. And, you know, basically the the concept of hot soup is not necessarily the lyrics it is too but it's mostly the production because it's us showcasing the different sounds that uh detroit is known for so we have like techno we have uh, motown you know detroit blues detroit rock you know like there's examples of each of that in there but it doesn't feel like you listen to a techno song it's been converted to hip-hop so it's, it's not you know we didn't want you to feel like you listen to a rock song we just have elements of the blues and Motown and all of that in there. So right. when you hear, um, like, uh, let me see, Swagger to the Max, like, that's our Motown song or whatever. Or when you hear, like, Let's Go, that's, like, our dedication to, like, a Blade Icewood or, you know, something like that, MC Breed on uh, 10 Gs a week. You know, right, right. Like each each one of those songs is definitely uh, uh, big up to, you know, the Detroit sound. We're about to get into Danny Brown Dance. Dance. Talk, oh, look, I got a story track. behind this. That. You know, I'm going to give you all the stories behind all the music. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to my man, Milt Harris. I know the guy who I sampled this organ from right here. Okay. So, like, basically, it's like a, you know, he's like a, a, almost like family to me or whatever. So, pretty much, he was like, man, feel free to, you know, use my music and do whatever you want to do with it. So, I just so happened to drop the needle and hear this. I was like, oh, my God, it's over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, man, that was a blessing, you know? So, shout out to Milt Harris. You know, he, the name of the group is The Propositions. You know what I'm saying? So, that's this is a Detroit song. It was actually recorded, I think, in Flint or something like that. Old funk joint. So, like I say, it's a dedication to all Detroit music on Hot Soup. And this is one of them right here. Name of this song is Dance.